Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're trying to determine the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor. We have a current source, and the current is depicted here by the graph, that it increases from 0 to 90 milliamps in the first second, and then decreases from 90 milliamps back to 0 in the next one second. That means we have two regions in which the current behaves differently. We have region 1, and we have region 2. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to find the equivalent capacitance because we're going to find the voltage across both capacitors and then use the voltage divider concept to find the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor. So the equivalent capacitance, C total or C equivalent, since they are in series, we have to use the product over the sum. It's going to be 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 which is 18 divided by 9, which is 2 microfarads. So that's the equivalent capacitance. So now we can find the voltage across both capacitors. We do that by saying that the current I is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage over time. We can solve this for V by saying dV is equal to 1 over C times I dT. And now we have to find the equivalent of the current here we can see that in region 1, the current I in region 1 is equal to, um, well, let's see here, uh, that would be like Y equals MX plus B, it would be the rise over the run, the rise is 90 milliamps, divided by the run, which is 1 second, times the variable T, and of course, since the curve goes right to the origin, we don't have an intercept, the intercept is 0. That can go into I1 here because we're doing region 1. So we say that voltage 1 in region 1 is equal to the integral of dV, which is equal to, uh, let's see here, 1 over C times the integral of I, which is 90 milliamps, divided by 1 second times T dT. Of course, this constant could come outside the integral sign, which means that V1 is equal to, and we're going to integrate from 0, to one second. That's going to be uh, 90 milliamps divided by one second divided by C. In this case, C would be the equivalent to microfarad capacitance times, when we integrate T dt, we get T squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. Of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. When we plug in the upper limit, we get 1 half which is equal to, let's see, we get 90 milliamps divided by 2 microfarads divided by 2, that would be 45, 22 and a half, I think it's 22 and a half volts. Just make sure I get this right, I'll use a calculator. So we have 90 divided by 2 equals, X1 and, 3 minus and yes, we get 22,500 volts. That would be for region 1. All right, so... For region 1, meaning for the time from 0 to 1 second, after 1 second, we've accumulated, accumulated 22,500 volts across the capacitor, the equivalent capacitance. So how do we find, find out how much capacitance we have across the 3 microfarad capacitor? So the voltage in region 1 for the 3 microfarad capacitor is equal to the ratio of the capacitance, that would be the capacitance of the other capacitor, that would be 6 microfarads divided by the sum, 6 microfarads plus 3 microfarads, multiplied times the total voltage across both capacitors, V total, which is 22,500 volts. That would be two-thirds of that, so divided by 3 times 2, whoop, 2 equals, and that would be 15,000 volts across the 3 microfarad capacitor, after one second, so after that's region one after one second. Then we'd have to calculate how much additional voltage accumulates across the capacitor for the second second, but we'll leave that for some other time. I think this illustrates quite nicely how you calculate the voltage across one of the capacitors for a particular time period based upon the curve that you have right there. So that's how you find the voltage.